Well, again, right now, two men are in the hospital and another is recovering at home. And the 21-year-old Bass Pro employee who was shot spoke to WREG's Michael Quander. And Michael is live at the Regional Medical Center. Now, did that victim have any serious injuries, Michael? Well, Claudia and Richard, he actually had to have a bullet removed from his arm, but Christopher Dickens is expected to be okay. Still, he tells me it's a night he'll never forget. It really wasn't it like, is this really happening right now? It kind of wasn't real, you know? I was like, did I really just get shot? You know? Christopher Dickens is still waking up from a nightmare. Before I can think of anything really, he just rolls his window down. The Bass Pro employee says he was bringing in baskets from the parking lot when Justin Welch pointed a gun and pulled the trigger. Like boom, 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 boom. Chris was hit in the leg. This is one thing, it was just like a graze wound or something. Uh, and his arm. A pretty big one, an explosion, like half a chunk of my, my flesh was gone. His phone stopped another bullet from hitting his side. And I could have bled out even worse if, you know, that had not happened. Blessed to be alive, Chris was one of three shooting victims Saturday night. When I hear about the cop and I hear about them, I'm thankful for what I came out with, you know. Friends created a circle of support around Joshua Walton as he laid in his hospital bed. He and Al Sakan were shot outside of Westies in the Pinch District. Sakan moved here from a war torn Syria, only to be caught in the middle of gunfire on the streets of Memphis. I didn't expect to get shot that night. I didn't expect anything like that, you know. And Officer Verdell Smith didn't expect to die. A situation Dickens says any of us could have been in on this crazy night. Right after it happened, that's the only thing I could really think about. I just, you know, I just prayed to God, like, you know, like, thank you. Well, the, those uh, last two uh, shooting victims are still right here in the hospital, both of them still in critical condition. We'll be sure to keep you posted, but for now, reporting live at the Regional Medical Center tonight, I'm Michael Quander, WREG News Channel 3. All right, Michael, thank you.